my beef with software development companies websites is ke barring three four examples of pakistan ki baat karte hain india ki baat karte hain barring three four examples every company that you pick aap sirf unka logo ki jagah naam change kar de and you won't be able to tell ki kya ye inki apni website hai ya kisi aur ki website ke upar naam likha hua hai This is Virisha and welcome to Rundown with us. We have Shanze here, the mind behind Rundown. We have Usama representing A Clan. We've also got Ahmed Zubair, the CEO of Cogent Labs. So Ahmed, tell me a little bit about what Cogent is. Right. So Cogent Labs is a full-service software development agency. Uh, we work on web apps, mobile apps, and generative AI. So any and every kind of custom apps that you want, we kind of build them end to end. Tell me a little bit about the market gap that you want to bridge. What is something unique about Cogent Labs that you want to tell us about? Right. So uh, I have been in so I've been a software engineer by trade right from when I graduated, and uh, I've been working in tech from the last ten years. So after seven eight years, I found out that uh, when you work long enough, you find out that you learn a certain way of not doing things. Because some things are just inefficiencies, etc. That we can हम कवर कर सकते हैं यू वर्क विद डिफरेंट पीपल विद डिफरेंट कस्टमर्स माय केस वाज एसेंशियली जस्ट क्लासिकल केस ऑफ द ग्रेट रेजिग्नेशन कोविड हिट एंड आई आई फिगर्ड आउट कि यार घर पे बैठ के काम करना है तो अपने लिए भी किया जा सकता है सो लेट्स जस्ट डू दैट एट व्हाट टाइम डिड यू फील लाइक लाइक इट वाज टाइम टू सीक समथिंग लाइक अ क्रिएटिव एजेंसी व्हेन यू स्टार्ट अ कंपनी तो आपके लिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट क्या होता है कि यू गेट द कोर थिंग डन फर्स्ट and uh, that was our aim right from 2021 ek do saal we we tried that we perfected that over a couple of years and then the time came ke yaar theek hai now we are i think we've hit that critical mass in that sense ki people have started knowing us in terms of supply side so uh, engineers have started knowing us in that sense customers have also started knowing us so now i thought ke it'd be probably the right time to now contact a professional mere liye I I I could stretch it out to six months, but finding somebody who could look at things out of the box, who could do things in a non-conventional way was really important. Or uh, coincidentally, I knew Sama from the last ten uh, years. Hamlo, we go way back. We <laughs> studied in the back, same yeah. university. So uh, like like I've I've known his work. I've known the things that he've done. Phenomenal work. So I thought uh, I'd just get in touch with him. We also happen to. Being the same gym, so I just met him one day. So there, uh, I met him. So, so essentially, I know that he was somebody who was doing who was doing things in a contrarian way that way. So that is how, that is what I was looking for, and that is how we met. And my perspective in this regard is a bit different in the sense that, so Amal and I, as he said, go way way back. Yeah. Our association rekindled when when one fine day I bumped into him in the gym, yeah. and then. like he was asking what am i doing and i was telling him this is what i'm doing and then i was also following him digitally so i mentioned cogent labs and oh, whatever wow. he was doing so he said come come visit me visit my operation and okay. see what we could do so this was the first time that you guys had met in a professional capacity after yeah several years after this was a long rekindling of yeah it's been uh, yeah. i guess it's been 12 years since from the first yeah. time we saw each other then we graduated and then again life happened so like <laughs> what were your initial thoughts when you first heard about cogent labs so i was already aware of the kind of services amad is providing yeah. um in our world we refer to them as deep tech okay so although i am a software engineer the same degree as of amad but i am nowhere near an actual software, software engineer or a deep tech yeah. developer i am more like surface level rudimentary yeah. um so when he mentioned cogent labs the idea was all right so clearly he is into deep tech hmm. but what is his clientele like is uh, are they developing their own products are they providing services and what not and this is where we met and for the first time um our actual pro- professional camaraderie or association started when he mentioned that could we potentially explore an opportunity of rebranding cogent labs okay and when i say rebranding i refer to the fact we have already covered this in the last yeah. uh dex so i would not jump into it mm-hmm. when we talk about rebranding not only we are talking about the visuals of it mm-hmm. we are also talking about the semantics of it how it's perceived in the market and what not and so this we can you can say skip and this is for the first time when i came back um and saw him this is where cogent labs stood okay 
And this was their logo on the left. This was their website, how it looked like. Although in my personal opinion, and I would be very fair in my assessment, for the first time I saw Cogent Labs, uh, when compared to the rest of the potential peers in the market, okay. they were way, way ahead. Okay. Right? Uh, how so? In what regards? In, in, in the regard that there was a certain level of attention to detail on their website, fair, uh, fair. the design was nice and again, being a bit biased, I have seen the graduates of NUST oh. and LUMS are predominantly, even if they are into deep tech, mm. they never let go of good UI, UX or designs okay. or brands and whatsoever. Tell me a little bit before we jump into the actual branding aspect of it or brand identity aspect of it. Tell me a little bit about what appealed to you about ACLAN. Forget the fact that you guys were, you know, friends back then too. Tell me a little bit about what you saw in ACLAN where you thought, all right, this is the agency for me and this is why I would like to work with ACLAN. So, so to be honest, Matlab, I didn't have a very strong opinion that this is, the, it just is going to be the agency for me, okay? So, uh, I was happy to experiment, happy to fail. Okay. Koi nahi karke hai, kya jee, hota hai. Jee. Lekin, uh, coincidentally, it turned out to be great. So that is what happened. Okay, okay. What he had already was, in our world, words, good enough. Okay. And if something is already good enough, mm. and then you have to pitch them to a rather educated, nuanced client into yeah. something newer, it's a very tough nut to crack, at least from an agency's mm, point of view. Yeah. And then there was this extra added pressure of that when two friends, for instance, work together, there is a chance of some sort of friction, yeah. which could, although like, of course, we are all human, so it could trickle down. I think it's also harder yeah. to disagree as friends, right? Absolutely. Huh. I've been following his um, digital journey. I, okay. When I say digital journey, I refer to the fact he already has a very successful YouTube channel mm -hmm. in this regard mm -hmm. and other endeavors he was a part of. Yeah. They were they they are what we refer to as the cream um, tech fraternity okay. in Pakistan. If I'm talking about there were some challenges involved, there were some good parts to it as well. Absolutely. One of the main parts which I absolutely loved working on this brand with my team was the fact it was so precise, so streamlined, so organized yeah. because Generally, we have to educate the client on the remote front as well yeah. as to what meetings are, how to give a brief and whatnot. But in this case, as you can see on these screenshots, he was very meticulous with the details from Calendly invites that, hey, pick a time of your choosing to sending in recorded wow. briefs. Okay. It's the first time we were able to get a brief in a recorded session and not in a real time session. Okay. Generally, we get briefs. And you know, what year is this? When have, when did you start working with uh, Emmett? When? This is, it's this very is recent. Art, uh, yeah, couple um, of months um, ago. Um, so this is post-COVID? Yeah, this is just a couple very of months recent, ago. Very right. recent. Matter of fact, is it's, it can also be considered as one of our fastest, considering the volume, one of our fastest case studies. Okay. So working in tech for so long and then COVID will have part me adapting to the remote work and everything. I feel that the video is not but the bit rate is other out there in terms of communicating what I'm trying to convey to you. And then I know okay, Matlab, as an agency, you guys have your own designers, your content writers, your storytellers and ideators and executors. And whatever, whatever. So I thought or, or, or it is very important for me that I can I should be able to equip you with what I want mm, definitely, definitely. and it has to be scalable. Yep. So that's why it was a video. Or, ye jo, it's interesting that you put it this way because these are all of the websites that I essentially tell you that you don't do this, you don't do this, you don't do this, you don't do this. So most of it is about what not to do and then uh, yeah. And so, also the comment we made and Varisha and Shamsa we were having a conversation earlier on as well. The B2C versus B2B branding part. Yeah. One comment which she made which really stuck to me was you change the logo of all these websites and the novelty factor would be gone because yeah. to to a certain extent they look and feel the same yep, yep. so when we were starting out so many i think one of the first sentences in this video was KR, my beef with software development companies websites is okay barring three four examples of pakistan ki baat karte, india ki baat karte, barring three four examples every company that you pick aap sirf unka 
लोगों की जगह नाम चेंज कर दें एंड यू वोट बी एबल टू टेल कि क्या ये इनकी अपनी वेबसाइट है या किसी और की वेबसाइट के ऊपर नाम लिखा हुआ है सो इन दैट सेंस इट हैड टू बी वेरी मतलब सो एंड दैट इज वट आई मेट वन आई सेट नॉवल टी के इट हैज़ टू सो एंड थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू वॉज कि यार हम जो भी करते हैं ना सम एवरीबडी नीड्स टू हैव एन ओपिनियन अबाउट इट दे शुड बी एबल टू हेट करते हैं ठीक है कोई मसला नहीं है द लव इट ग्रेट बट मैं किसी के पास नहीं होना चाहिए राइट देर इज दिस यू नो दिस distinction between b2c and b2b companies where you see that b2c companies typically place a lot of importance on branding you know and they you know you know spend just as much or they spend enough time on it um cogent labs did something different with this cogent labs being a b2b uh, you know c- company was provide was placing just as much if not more emphasis on brand identity and branding as b2c you know companies tell me a little about what that mindset was like where was that from I think I think it's super important because at the end of the day you're selling to people, ठीक है? So B to C में है, B to B में है. अगर किसी company का CFO है, at the end of the day they're a human, ठीक है? So I think it is more about just communicating with them, right? Okay. So चाहे वो कि आपने Pepsi sell करनी है या फिर आपने software sell करनी है, at the end of the day your audience is a human being who needs to be communicated to, mm-hmm. who needs to hear what is in their head, who who needs to have a solution to their problem. Yeah. So in that sense, for me, I felt that it, imp- it is very important that mm-hmm. your end user should have that experience. That they, they put effort into it, and this is kind kind of probably for me. I mean, yeah, this is this stands out stands out to me and whatnot. Okay. So. Yeah. So what he is mentioning from the brand's point of view, we as an agency have experienced this time and again. certain industries have a very strong product brand margin like it does not matter where you buy your samsung phone from right yeah. because you are buying the product you do not really care like i would not name the brands but there are certain suppliers as well right in the market who you can buy it from in this case we say the product brand margin is very small small yeah but then there are cases where you want to buy a diaper you already know there is mm. a there's a giant in that field so the product brand margin is very high now the thing is in b2c it's very distinctive but when it comes to b2b most of the sales funnels are not direct per se as he mentioned the potential client is a ceo yeah but the channels of getting to that person would be would be a bit different right So this is where novelty kicks in the most and one thing which I absolutely loved about the brief was as a creative agency it's always very refreshing to hear that you go crazy so as soon as a client says you go crazy it's like a license to kill freedom. yeah you you there there's no limitation you just for sure for for instance you can bring in the most craziest ideas on the table and you will still be considered sane enough because this is what you are being paid to do In this case our idea of cogent labs was again would not go into the nuances of it yeah. because we have already covered it in our last episode that why we chose to go with the word mark versus combination mark for sure but if you remember cogent's existing ecosystem is based on a combination mark our idea was we'll start with the word mark and then extend the ecosystem Good. towards different visuals okay. these are the mood boards as you already know we always start with the mood board and the initial mood boards were these these five these five very distinct mood boards were shared with amal and all of them have something very special and certain going on in them yeah um some people can really tell it down to the dot that or right, this is where it differs but um some people for them it's a sum total they'll they'll look at it in a commutative perspective yep. right the immediate feedback he got was at least this is what he told us i would like to hear his honest original thoughts from this forum now he said this is good yeah. so this was like in all honesty we were very for our very first were you holding your breath yeah so for our very first <laughs> yeah. delivery we were because it's the first surfacing right yeah, so you yeah. have gotten the brief and now this is the first time where the client would gauge that this is the right agency for me or not when he said i like it that is for the very first time i realized all right we are on the same wavelength okay. so that's a so good aligned. point we are aligned yeah. 
but there was a certain level of in our case our procedural approach is always educating the client first yeah yeah do your part clear your conscience and then if they want for a lack of a better term trash they get trash right if they want gold they get gold but sure. we did our part because the thing with subjectivity is no one can tell uh, if like pineapple on pizza is right or not right so it's not yeah it's very subjective no. right it's very subjective there is no two ways about it <laughs> there are no two ways but one thing which was very distinct was do we want to go beyond the palette of yeah. conventional realm okay. which was the fifth one i would not like give all our easter eggs in this episode because they might consider it later in the future but right. one thing was all right can you show me so you have shown me these five can you show me the white ones in predominantly black palette wow okay. so we generally refer to it as a reverse schema if you see that there is yeah. a very clear cut mood change there is a change yeah for sure and the reason for that was cogent in existingly is predominantly black, black. okay and is and all, also get yeah. black tends to be very restrictive very when restrictive. you go into branding na to black and whites are matlab you are very tired matlab aapne agar pizzas create karne kahin pe ya you need to run a i don't know hiring campaign karni hai to it gets very hard so it was very important for us to get a brand which was reversible in that sense yeah. when we have to use it for branding to hum use reverse kar le hmm. agar hame kahin pe bilkul seriousness karni hai to hum use black Achha, pe karna uh, dark pe karna for sake of clarity because that's what i understand of it you are telling me that black was existing within um, cogent labs ka brand universe prior to ek team ek land coming into yeah. it yeah, yeah. was there any um, importance that black held to you in terms of you know that that universe or that any impact that you think that black had ke you thought ke chahiye black ko rakhna hai other than just ke reversible hona chahiye i think black is matlab very cogent in that sense matlab yeah. okay theek hai kyunki because <laughs> the word cogent essentially <laughs> means something that is irrefutable matlab aap unme baat kar rahe hain aur main aapko aap mujhe keh rahe hain purple hai ye main keh raha hu nahi ye lilac hai theek hai to wahan pe hum bahas kar sakte hain okay there's no two ways about black okay. black is super cogent matlab and, and so as an engineer for us In all it is either black or it's fact. I never thought of it this way. Yeah, that's actually very. True. That's actually a really, yeah. really good insight. Into so it's either, either the thing works or, or it doesn't. doesn't. So engineering works. में ऐसे होता है, ठीक है? Yeah. Design में ऐसे नहीं होता. I understand. ठीक है? You might be like, so, so, so black की ये association है. Association. हमारे brand से कि यार सीधी बात. But simple. Yes, the fact. हाँ. For us on the other end, blacks is uh, blacks and whites are not colors. Okay. They are considered a universal palette. Mm-hmm. everything on top is considered a color so in this case we were recommending we were pushing them towards reds the idea was back back then at at, at least at this layer the idea was whatever he showed me about his company his values whatever mm-hmm. he was doing the way they were operating one thing which was very distinct was passion okay one emotion i could get out was see this company is really passionate about yeah. what they do and at the same time very aggressive in their approach which is a good thing yeah so aggressive in a good connotation and the best col- color based representation for that is red so we were like okay let's go with red so you wanted to give off a very strong vibe yeah we wanted That's to couple red to with black and white so that we stay true to our roots where we started of being cogent but also showcasing our um emotion that we are very passionate about what we do sure. but this is where also um, he requested again the best part about i would not like i would not want to sound repetitive but <laughs> for this particular brand for this particular client side one thing we liked the best was they were not operating on the basis of what ifs ya yeah, chalo ye karke dekhte hain hmm. let's see and what on there there was a very clear reasoning attached to it if their reasoning was cogent enough then we proceed <laughs> if it's not we so let we're it. functioning on yeah. logic here yeah yeah uh-huh. very functional uh-huh. very logical. Logical. Uh, he said i want certain colors again we would not go into the color theory of those colors yeah. um and we came away with all right these are so the three one yeah. thing jo hum yahan pe baat kar rahe the ki it was blue right so blue generally tech mein blue is very overused so i think matlab while blue looks great matlab lekin wo overused tha so then i think we didn't go for blue yeah. और दूसरी चीज ये है कि मतलब यू गाइस हैव बीन वर्किंग विद उसामा तो उसामा हैज अ सर्टेन वे ऑफ 
nudging you towards what he wants but it, he makes you think like it's it's your idea theek hai lekin matlab he didn't do it in the previous iteration theek hai jo jahan pe first tha i think jahan pe main tha na ki yaar ye panch raston mein se ek hame choose karna hai wahan pe i think it was not not a lot of that hmm. but after that it was red and i'm happy ke matlab and i think agar aap expert se baat kar rahe hain to fir aapko shayad ye you should give them that ki yaar theek hai sahi hai matlab so yeah if you want to go with that so sure so so ha matlab i think that is credit to osama in that sense this style echo after a certain point we do form a disposition as an agency okay and our idea is to guide the client to that <laughs> not manipulate them <laughs> guide them to the to the actual um pathway reason being by this stage we refer to it as a packaged product so before that it's starting from scratch it could be anything mm-hmm. but there are times when you are deep into the process and if you want to go left and right at the same time you end up forming a very mediocre product by this time amad asked me a very important question actually that do we open our feedback loop at this stage should we go out there and ask people what okay. do they prefer and i asked him only do that with your potential target audience because our theory was like not everyone's opinion is to be weighed in the same scale hamari jo ideal customer profile hai unme se kuch hamare customers hain so agar mujhe un jaise 10 aur logon ko reach karna hai to i think that they would be the best people to yeah, okay. tell me ki yaar ha this works so essentially what the question that i asked them was ki agar ye teen agencies ne aapko proposal bheja hai to inme se aap kis se kaam karwayenge agar all else remain the same okay theek hai so that to they specifically said yeah zyada tar log isi pe na isi side pe aate hain and i really like the way he asked he didn't ask These are my three potential options pick one he said consider there are three separate, separate agencies. agencies giving you a proposal yeah who has a potential to be awarded just on the basis of visuals okay and this is where we ended up with this mood board again homage to amad and his team at cogent everything we were doing was not only recorded but was also sent to us right there and then wow, all right by that time our mood board was selected but um, again we can skip this part this is where we were very particular about the weightage the kerning mm-hmm. the stylus of our exact word mark yeah. for layman it could be the same thing but for, as a des- for for us designers they are poles apart yeah. all six options but the thing is by this time we were like maybe maybe let's let's be a bit more experimental okay can we maybe drop the labs yeah for the time being because we are looking at a very cogent business inshallah uh, which has a potential like of like when you drop the word labs from your logo uh, was it because you wanted to target a more diverse audience exactly so the idea was we go a layer up because our idea in our head we were not conceiving a brand for the next 1 to 2 mm. years we were conceiving a brand for the next 20 to 30 years per right. se and the idea was we should be known as a brand which could do potentially different things yeah. as well and the way we so we call it making the way by dropping something we are technically making the way for newer verticals to come under for the sure. same umbrella sure. the application matters everything so we were like okay we need to show him some more wow, right. iterations as to what yeah. it could potentially feel like mm-hmm. right if you pick just one of them just just one to perhaps sorry osama critique, yeah, yeah, critique for a little bit tell me one that you perhaps did not resonate with and why so you're asking the worst the worst of i'm not asking yeah. the worst i'm saying <laughs> tell me about which ones you didn't like and give me the reasoning behind it so that you know people who are watching know what that mindset was where you were like no i don't like this ha huh, so i think uh, this g is really over the top yeah. i think uh, <laughs> ye, this is the and really didn't and mince his words when uh, it came to that he was like i'm going to go straight to this as you can be brutal as well uh, i honest. think there is this and then i think that is matlab I, i think that is very um, cliche cliched yes okay. and i think ye bhi not so much so i think ye three jo hain right side pe aur ye wala i think these probably yeah. would be the bottom three got it but by this stage we were still so we we as an agency as a brand we were aligned that we knew what we wanted but mm. we were not there yet so we're like okay let's broaden the uh, like broad the horizon and maybe maybe start applying ah, these exactly. logos That's, as to ye distinction bahut important hai ki is point pe hum stuck ho gaye the right so then he said ki yaar acha aise karte hain isko hum apply apply karke dekhte hain 
कि रियल वर्ल्ड में कैसे ऐसे एक्चुअली थिंक हम दोनों का ये वो आइडिया था राइट सो देन वी डिड दैट एंड देन एंड देन आई स्टार्ट एंड दिस दिस एक्सरसाइज हेल्प यू गेन क्लैरिटी फिर हां एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज़ इफ यू शो द प्रीवियस स्लाइड टू एन इंजीनियर तो वो वहां से यहां तक का सफर तय नहीं कर सकते ट्रू वो अपने ज़हन में नहीं कर सकते ठीक है बट दिस दिस कवर्स दैट गैप फॉर एन इंजीनियर ओके इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फॉर अस दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी ट्रू फॉर मी आई वाज सेइंग दिस इज द लोगो यू वाज सेइंग लाइक इवन लाइक इट्स इट्स जस्ट द वर्ड या ओके I was telling him there is an entire brand around it. So for us, this is our outlet. We show that this is not just the logo in itself. This is what it could become. The idea was: Are we going with a letter mark, a word mark, or a combination <laughs> mark? mark. Yep. This gave us a lot of clarity that whatever brand we want to go ahead with, we can play around with it. Yeah. But the most non-restrictive would be a word mark. Okay. And considering very diversified nature of what Cogent does, especially in the tech space, um, in my personal opinion, this was one image which cleared my mind at least All right. as an individual, not as an agency. Mm -hmm. That okay, by this time I was like. we should go with the word mark for sure hmm. uh, i'm not sure what amit thought of all these definitely but yes i think ye yeah, this 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 was a turning point yeah, yeah turning point this really stands out ki yaar ye teen char renditions hai jinko jisse hum use kar sakte hain aise this was where we were at and this was the new cogen but by this stage hmm. there was this one last final uh, like these <laughs> games there was this one last final stage which yeah. we had to cover yeah. now people might argue what changed yeah in all honesty when it comes to the logo nothing much Not but much. there's a lot more to it yeah but um so overall in terms of impact you know what does this shift signify um tell me a little bit about you know first impressions wise me ki matlab someone who looks at cogent labs perhaps like this and someone who looks at it like that what's the difference that you aim to communicate with this shift I guess so I'm at the I would like both to meet one. Yeah, 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 and then I'll come. Right, so there are two angles to that. Okay. ठीक है एक तो I think के ये ये combination mark कहते हैं इसे left पे लेको, right? Yeah. So एक तो I think combination marks are like 2010s बड़ी चीज रह गई है. ठीक है I think के मतलब I think it the world generally the has modern brands are moving it. towards towards word marks and letter okay. marks. There is this really great book by Vern Harish. It's called uh, Scaling Up. सो उसमें वो मेंशन करता है कि कंपनीज की ना तीन तीन टाइप्स की कंपनी तीन स्टेजेस होती है कंपनीज की सो माइस गिजेल्स एंड एलिफेंट्स ठीक है तो दिस इज लिटरली दैट शिफ्ट फ्रॉम माइस टू गिजेल्स इन दैट सेंस कि जब आप माइस होते हैं सो यू आर डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सुपर फास्ट फायर फाइटिंग हो रही है उधर खा रहे हैं वो सारा कुछ ठीक है सो एवरीथिंग इज हैपनिंग सुपर फास्ट एंड दैट अ वेरी माइक्रो स्केल सो इन दैट सेंस दिस इज दैट शिफ्ट फॉर अस एज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज़ वेल ओके Okay, we are now kind of graduating from that my stage mm. towards a gazelle stage, sure. uh, where we can hopefully do bigger jumps, bigger, better things, for hopefully sure. faster. Sounds And for us, um, we refer to it as as Ahmed rightly pointed out, combination marks are a thing of the past, but this somehow evolved into what we refer to as logo systems now. Okay. One of the main reasons for that was. back in the day there were only certain mediums of exposure to any brand but with the advent of many different screens screen sizes different mediums even vr included there is all the more reason that your logo should not be very static it should not be very restrictive restrictive it should be fluid so for us although it is a word mark we ended up conceiving a logo system and it's wow. very fluid uh, the crown is is it a part of the brand identity i might say and it's an oxymoronic statement that it is yet it is not okay because it's very fluid and volatile in nature mm. what's there what static is cogent in itself yeah. just like the name suggests everything else is more con like more context oriented more application constitutional specific. mode yeah. application specific okay. the crown signifies and this is where by the way i'll come to that later on as well where did the crown come in the um, core values sir. the core values like this was such an interesting anecdote for me so we were stuck somewhere that what kind of a common combination mark or if we are to play around with an idea that there should be an emblem what represents cogent we were initially 
going with the arrow that we are we are a growth agency at the end of the day which is coach and they help startups grow businesses grow so maybe like an arrow would be the thing but the arrow was more or more or less a bit cliche mm. so he showed me the values of his company which to be very honest is also very new for a pakistani company as well on notion he showed me that can you take something out of it and i went back and there was this one thing he kept on insisting that uh, it's a very loaded sentence which he has written but i would simply say that don't mess up with your customer he has given a memo to his entire company and i was like okay from here i can deduce customer is king and when there is a customer is king involved or a queen for instance um i would rather i would rather have a crown as a representation okay. yeah and this is where a very legit concern of brands kick in so this is our final brand manual and we are like okay we have conceived the brand this is it but the brands could argue that hey you are the external body which conceived the entire idea whereas my internal team might be blind sided as to how we can apply this new brand identity to us so the last stage as i was saying was can you maybe showcase that what would our old previous communication which we have already posted look like in terms of the same content same orientation but with the new mood board yeah so as you can see there is a back in like the previous cogent although was a word mark was predominantly black but there was a certain novelty missing whereas on the right side we showed like these different examples that it, there's no, no one answer to it you can yeah. still play around with the same brand identity this was on the more drastic side of things in terms of changes this one was you can even have essentially almost the same creative but just changing the color schema a mm -hmm. bit you'll have your coherence for us coherence and consistency is most important and then comes the last part again the, this is what the new graphics look like so for instance just like that graffiti style crown and why graffiti because we were going with this berlin tech oriented mm, vibe yeah um we wanted to showcase that we are as much or as youthful and casual and aggressive in our approach and hence this is the last slide where i would want to end on in a more detailed manner that even this brand for us is not fully conceived yet we are calling it native and contextual we refer to such case studies as an ever evolving brand so as you can see wait as you can see we have written whatever we have said so far these are our recommendations but still the context and the native nature of the application takes precedence so go crazy um other than that like i guess amit can have the final word cogent's future is predominantly about generative ai i think like for the most part it is all about generative ai and building real world use cases around them so uh, anything that impacts the real world and generally also we position ourselves as a company which takes you from 1 to 10 and beyond nice. and not more about 0 to 1 so agar aapne 0 to 1 crack kar liye okay so then then we will probably be a good fit for you our goal right now is to conceive a global brand which is on par with the global standards and the last line as it still is in front of me cogent your startup cogent your growth it started with the idea that like you mentioned 1 to 10 we are all about growth yeah. and this is what we are entailing so yeah um okay one last question uh, and that's to you amit so part of uh, one of the you know core values behind rundown is uh, that we want to create a playbook of sorts for anyone who wants to step into the entrepreneurial world tell me one lesson that you think you have picked up in the x amount of years cogent labs has existed that you think is vital for someone who is just venturing out into unknown territory if you aim towards increasing your rates okay then everything else falls in place theek hai so let's say hypothetically a client does it for x dollars per hour today theek mm. hai if they are to go from x dollars per hour to 2x dollars per hour uske liye they need to find better talent they need to improve their processes they need to 
ship good stuff they need to be on time they need to be reliable they need to have redundancies wagaira 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 hmm. so i mean if i were to tell anybody who's who was willing to just start right now i would just say yeah raise raise your rates if you do okay. that so ya to aap raise nahi kar sakenge hmm. jiska matlab ye hai ki you need to pull yeah, your socks up and have a proof kare fix to shift. get to the point where you can ha exactly and, and, your rates. and like literally aim towards doing that agar aap wo so अगर आप नहीं कर पा रहे ना तो वो आपकी बैड लक नहीं है इट इज जस्ट के यू आर नॉट वर्थ इट येट शो मेरे लिए तो ये है कि आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी शुड जस्ट एम टू रेज देयर रेट्स या एंड आई नेवर थॉट ऑफ इट दिस वे सो या इट्स एक्चुअली अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग शुड इंक्रीज आवर रेट्स आई गेस नहीं नहीं वो पुराने कस्टमर्स के लिए पुराने कस्टमर्स के लिए नो दैट्स एक्चुअली वेरी ट्रू कम टू थिंक ऑफ इट एंड विद दैट वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ द सेकंड एपिसोड ऑफ रन डाउन बाय ए क्लैन Varisha and I thank you so much for sticking with us over the course of this podcast and we will see you all soon thank you so much